Welcome Anne, and uh, you're the network convener for research on children's rights in education. Yes. Can you tell me something about what's the main idea that brings people to your network? Uh, well, I guess that the main idea is to uh, be a global meeting place for educational children's rights researchers. Uh, researchers that take an interest in children as citizens with human rights are actually all together quite few uh, and uh, also so in, in the field of education. So uh, the network provides a very important arena for qualified uh, discussions among educational children's rights researchers and uh, also for networking, international networking. But what's the topics people are talking about? In your uh, okay, so there's a big variety of topics, of course, but there's a big interest in uh, children's uh, participation, children participating in society and in education, uh, being able to have a say and uh, taking part in decision making and, and uh, uh, well, giving their view on, on, on issues. And there's also an interest in education, educating children for rights, about rights. Uh, how are we to do this? And uh, a range of other topics. Uh, we have, uh, for example, uh, the issues of uh, inclusive education come up also in our network. Um, and uh, a range of other topics. How does your network reflect that European dimension? I think that uh, our network reflects that very well. Um, for example, I guess that we are seeing now um, anti-democratic forces challenging democracy and human rights globally and within Europe. And um, I think that education is a highly important arena for counteracting these tendencies. So um, the research undertaken by people in this network provides an important knowledge base for that work of schools, I think. Uh, and in that, that's across all of Europe, yeah. It crosses Europe, but it also crosses the world. So it's, it's not, it's a matter for you, it's a question for Europe, but it's also a question for the entire mm -hmm. world, I think. So, I mean, here's a question I've asked all of the networks. What makes your network unique? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I think that um, actually one of the very most unique things is that I, as far as I know, this is the only network in any conference actually specialising on children's rights. Uh, I'm not aware of any other educational conference having this uh, topic as a network uh, speciality. So um, this is a unique feature of the, the network, that we actually can attract uh, children's rights researchers, not only from Europe, but also from other parts of the world, being such a specialised network. And also, I would say that uh, we're quite a small network, um, since children's rights researchers are, it's a, uh, it's a small field altogether, uh, and that means that we are a dedicated group of people coming together every year, but also trying, making an effort to uh, welcoming new um, people to our network. Uh, we're a very friendly network, I would say. Think back over the last few years, Something which makes you really proud of your network. One thing you're proud of. Uh, well, I, I'm proud of that uh, we are developing. We are developing as a network. Uh, we have found a more firm way to, to meet and organize. And uh, we have uh, developed um, the network's activities. Uh, be adding more social activities, for example, network dinner and, and such things which is really important for a network, to, to have a, a, not only the academic uh, side, but also the social side. Um, yeah. Uh, and I mean, you're part of ERA look inwards, I suppose, as a network. Do you have a link still other networks and organisations outside ERA? 
Uh, well, not uh, in an organized way, but I, I guess that uh, the United Nations is, um, mm. is a global um, umbrella organization for us uh, because we, uh, human rights uh, is, the, um, uh, is, is in the uh, arms of the United Nations. So, of course, we're always, the network uh, researchers are closely uh, related to United Nations work, uh, but not in any organized way, no. So, is the conference, the, EU, the ECR conference, coming up this year? Yeah. Tell me, what's one thing you like about ECR? I like that uh, almost everyone uh, is a visitor. It's a truly international conference. Uh, in, in many other conferences you go to, you have a large group of people that are at home, and a bunch of people being visitors. But in the ESA conference, uh, we are all uh, visitors. We are all, very few people are at home, so to speak. So it's a truly international atmosphere, uh, and, and certainly mostly European, of course, because most of the participants are from Europe. But uh, that's one thing that I really like. And I also think it's a very good size of the conference. It's big enough to offer a, wide variety of, of uh, research and, and opportunities, but it's small enough to actually be, it's possible to get an overview. Well, the conference is coming up, so good luck with that. Thank and you. thanks very much for coming in today. Thank you.